Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is part one for the flowers in the sand throw. Now this throw measures 51 inches in diameter. I wanted to keep it the size where it's just comfortable to throw over yourself when you're sitting on the couch. It's just a beautiful manageable size and it's not too overwhelming of a size. So let me give you a close-up of some of the details of this afghan. I'm just going to walk over towards the center. You're going to see how we start with that little daisy center. We did some front post stitches, and there's no back post stitches in this design. I had someone ask me. I kept it to front post to make it as easy as possible to make this afghan. Then you see the flower section where we're going to make those popcorn stitches for our petals, for our flowers. You're going to see yellow popcorn stitches coming out to accent that center. Then you're going to see we're going to do some V stitches with a little blossom flower. Then we're going to do some Ray stitches again just to bring those browns in the design. Then we're going to come out and make the flowers again. Then we brought that deep dark walnut color and added some little yellow blossoms. Brought the brown back out, added a third section of those flowers, ended with white and yellow. So this pattern, you're doing a total of three sections of the flower, pulling those flowers from the center out to the outside of the design. So it's just a great learning experience to try new techniques and learn how to work in the round. So let me tell you everything you're gonna to need to make this afghan today. So let's go ahead and go over the material list of what you're going to need for this afghan. Now this video is a collaboration with Lion Brand. Lion Brand sponsored this video. They sponsored this design. They sent me all the yarn I needed to make this project. Now my challenge was to make an afghan using some of the brand new skein tone colors. And these skein tones can be found under the Lion Brand basic stitch on their website. So I chose the five different browns for the challenge and then I chose three accent colors that I thought would go well with brown. So let's get started with what you're going to need. So first you're going to need one of the skein tones colors and again this is under the basic stitch on their website and you need one skein of color 114V Walnut. You're going to need one skein of color number 115L Birch, one skein of color number 116H Beach, one skein of color number 134U Honey. The next color, you're going to need two skeins of color number 118E Sienna. Now this is just what I had left over, but you need two full skeins of color 118E Sienna. You're going to need one skein of color number 157 Lemonade. And again, all these yarns are under basic stitch. You're going to need two skeins of baby pink. This is color number 101, baby pink. You're going to need two skeins of color number 173A, sage. The last color, you're going to need one skein of Lion Brand's Pound of Love and this is color antique white, color number 099. You're also going to need a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. So looking at the yarn that I used in this design, when you're on Lion Brand's website, again, this will be available in kit form, it's going to list everything you need for the afghan. It also gives you an option to change any of these colors. So if you did not want to use the five shades of brown, say maybe you like blues instead, then you would need five different colors of blue going from light to medium to dark. Then you would choose your three accent colors. 
So again, let's review it one more time. You're going to need one skein of color 114V Walnut, one skein of color number 115L Birch, one skein of color number 116H Beach, one skein of color number 134U Honey, now this color here, I didn't have much left over. You need two skeins of color number 118E Sienna. You're going to need one skein of the Pound of Love in the color 009B Antique White. You're going to need one skein of color number 157X Lemonade. Two skeins of color number 101F Baby Pink and then two skeins of color 173A Sage. You're also going to need a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. So let's go ahead and get started on part one of the flowers in the sand throw. To begin our project, I already have my lemonade attached to my hook. This is the yellow color. I'm leaving about a five inch beginning tail and I'll be working my stitches over that tail so we can close our circle with our stitches. So there is other methods that you can start if you wish to use a different method. I'm going to chain four. I already have my yarn attached to my hook with a double knot. So the loop on your hook does not count as a chain. You're going to yarn over, pull through. That's one, two, three, and four. You're going to skip the first three chains insert into the fourth chain from hook and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on the hook and this creates your ring. Now you may have to use your hook and open that ring up. So now we're ready to begin round one. Now for round one we're going to take that beginning tail and we're going to hold it right up against the side of our ring and we're going to work through the center of the ring around the outside edge and over that beginning tail. So let's begin round one. You're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. This beginning chain four counts as your first triple crochet. Now I say triple, some people say treble, so please excuse me if I say it differently than you. We're going to work a total of 14 triple crochet into the center of the ring. You're going to yarn over twice, insert from front to back through the center of that ring. Make sure that your beginning tail is right on the outside edge of the ring. Yarn over, pull back through. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a triple crochet. Now all my videos are filmed using USA crochet terms. So if you're from the UK, you may have to convert your stitches to whatever a triple is called in your uh, country. So that's one of 14. You're going to yarn over twice, insert back into the center of that chain, yarn over, pull back through, you have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Again, that is how you make a triple crochet. So that is two of 14. You're going to triple crochet back into the center of the ring. That is three of 14 triple crochet back into the center of the ring and make sure you're working over that beginning tail. And that is four of 14. So go ahead and continue and work 10 more triple crochet into the center of the ring and I'll meet you at the end of round one. I'm over at the end of round one. You have your beginning chain four, and then you should have a total of 14 triple crochet around for a total of 15 stitches. So now we're going to join by going to the top of our beginning chain four. Count up one, two, three, four. Insert your hook into the top of that chain, and then slip stitch through that chain 
and through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished. So we're just going to fasten off our lemonade yellow. And when I fasten off, I chain two. You can fasten off whichever way you prefer. I pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So with this design, you may want to weave in your ends as you go so you're not overwhelmed at the end of the afghan. So I'm just going to show you real quickly how I weave in my ends. I just attach a yarn needle to my yarn and then I just come down through that stitch. I'm going to go all the way down through that down to the base of those stitches. Run my yarn needle through some of those stitches. And then I skip one strand of yarn and I come back through. And then if I have enough yarn, I go back through a third time just to really secure my ends. And then I fasten off. And then our beginning tail, you should have worked all your stitches around your tail. Now this is closed pretty tight, but if you like a nice close uh, opening, you just pull on your tail and it's going to pull that nice and tight. And then you're going to weave this end in the same way as you did the other one. And then your round is nice and closed. So that is how you weave in your ends and close your circle. And now let's begin round two. I have my baby pink attached to my hook and now we're just going to go between our beginning joining stitch where you fastened off and the next stitch. We're working between the stitches. You're going to insert your hook between that first and second stitch and you're going to slip stitch through that space and through the loop on your hook and this just makes a nice secure join of your yarn. So for this round we're going to be working three triple together and then chain three and we're going to repeat that around. Now for our first three triple cluster we're going to chain three. So to begin round two chain three, one, two, and three. This will count as the first triple of the first three triple cluster. What we're doing is working our triples into the space leaving the last loop of each stitch on the hook and then we're yarning over and pulling through all stitches. So now we're going to work two triple back into this space leaving the last loop of each stitch on the hook. So let me show you how you do that. You're going to yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Instead of pulling through the last loop, you're leaving that loop on the hook. So we need to do that one more time. Yarn over the hook twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Instead of pulling through that last loop, we're going to leave it on the hook. So we have three triple stitches, we have three loops, and we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. Now this first three triple cluster is made differently than the rest because of that beginning chain. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to start our repeat. I'm going to walk you step by step through the first cluster and then I'm just going to work my next cluster. So to begin, we're going to work three triple together into this next space. You're going to yarn over the hook twice, insert between the next two stitches right into that space between the stitches, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Instead of pulling through that last loop, we're going to leave the last loop of that stitch on our hook and we have two loops on our hook. So now we need to do this two more times into that same space. Yarn over the hook twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your second triple 
leaving the last loop on the hook and not finishing that stitch. So we have two of the three stitches made and now we need to do that one more time. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Now when you look at your work, you have three triple where we did not work that last loop through. You have four loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. You just made your three triple together and made your cluster. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. So let's begin the repeat. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into the next space between the next two stitches, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Your first triple of the three is made. Yarn over the hook twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your second triple leaving the last loop on the hook and not finishing the stitch. You have three loops. Yarn over the hook twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You now have six loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So now when you look at your work, you have your three triples you did not finish the last part of the stitch. You have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. You're going to chain three. And that is the end of the repeat. So if you need additional help, just click back on the video. You're going to work three triple together into the next space between the next two stitches then you're going to chain three. You're going to repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. You should have a total of 15 petals around and a total of 15 chain three spaces. We ended with a petal of three triple cluster in between the last two stitches and a chain three. So now we're just going to join, we're going to come up to the top of that first petal, insert underneath the top two loops, yarn over, pull through the top of that stitch and through the loop on your hook. So round two is finished, so we're just going to fasten off our yarn. Again, I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So go ahead and weave in your ends as you go and we're going to switch to the color Sienna and then we're going to begin round three. So now we're ready to begin round three. Now because we're using so many different colors of brown, I'm just going to show you the label. We're using color 118E Sienna next. So grab your yarn. I already have mine attached to the hook and I just used a double knot. We're going to go up and we're going to join in any chain three space. It doesn't matter which one, just pick one, insert your hook and then slip stitch through that space and through the loop on your hook. We're going to begin round three with a chain four. One, two, three, and four. Our beginning chain four counts as the beginning triple crochet. Now we're going to work three more triple crochet into this same space. Yarn over twice, insert into that same beginning chain three space and work three triple crochet. That's one. Two. and three. And when you look at your work, you're going to have your beginning chain four, which counts as the first triple, and then three more triple crochet stitches. So this is a very easy round. We're just going to work four triple crochet in each chain three space around. So let's begin the repeat. Yarn over twice, insert into the next chain three space, 
and work four triple crochet. One, two, three, and four. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do the repeat again. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into the next chain three space, and work four triple crochet. One, two, three, and four. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue and work four triple crochet in each chain three space around, and I'll meet you at the end of round three. I'm over at the end of round three. We worked four triple in each chain three space around, and you should have a total of 60 stitches, including that beginning chain four. So now we're going to join our round together. We're going to go up to the top of that beginning chain four, count up one, two, three, four, insert into the top of that chain, and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So we are now done with the Sienna, so we're going to fasten off. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So I'm gonna go ahead and weave in my yarn, and now we're going to switch to the color Honey. You want to grab color number 134U, Honey, and we'll begin round four. I have my color honey already attached to my hook, and we're going to go up to where we fastened off. We're going to join right into the top of this beginning joining stitch, right where you fastened off, insert right into the top chain of that joining stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. For round four, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Our beginning chain four counts as the first triple crochet. We're going to work one more triple back into that same stitch. Right into the top of the stitch, work your triple crochet. Now we're going to start working a front post triple. You're going to yarn over your hook twice. You're going to bring your hook to the front of the work, insert from front to back, back to front. You're just going underneath the post of the stitch, and then you work your treble. You're going to yarn over, bring your hook underneath and around that stitch. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post triple. So now we're ready to begin our repeat. We're going to work two triple into the top of the next stitch, insert under the top two loops, and work two treble crochet. One, yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, and work your second triple crochet. Now we're going to work the front post triple into the next stitch around the post of the stitch. You're going to yarn over twice, bring your hook to the front of the work, insert from front to back, back to front underneath the post of the stitch, yarn over, pull your hook underneath and around that stitch. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Yarn over the hook twice, insert into the top of the very next stitch, and work two triple crochet. 
one. and two, and both stitches are worked into the top of that same stitch. Now we're going to work a front post triple around the post of this next stitch. Yarn over twice, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch, yarn over and pull back through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You just made your front post triple, and that is the end of the repeat. Let's do the repeat one more time together. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into the top of the next stitch, and work two triple crochet. One, and two. Now we're going to work a front post triple around the post of the next stitch. You're going to yarn over twice, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that next stitch, yarn over, pull back through and underneath and around the stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post triple. So now go ahead and continue and work two triple crochet into the top of the next stitch and a front post triple around the post of the next stitch. If you need additional help, just click back on the video, repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round four. I'm over at the end of round four. This is what your work should look like. You work two triple crochet into the top of the next stitch and a front post triple around the post of the next stitch. You repeated that around and you should have a total of 90 stitches around your work. So now we're going to go up and we're going to join our yarn. We're going to go up to the top of that beginning chain four, count up one, two, three, four, insert into the top of that chain and slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Now we're just going to fasten off. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. I'm going to go ahead and weave in my ends. So the next color we're going to use for round five is color number 116H, Beach. So grab your beach and we'll begin round five. I have my beach color attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. We're going to begin round five and we're going to go back where we fastened off to that joining chain four space. So we're just going right into the top of that stitch. Let me zoom up just a little bit more. You want to go in right where you fastened off. You're going to see the beginning top chain insert into that chain and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. We're going to begin and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Our beginning chain four counts as the first triple crochet. Now we're going to work one more triple back into that same space. Yarn over twice, bring your hook back to the front of your work, insert right back into that same chain that you had your beginning chain for, and work a triple crochet. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your beginning chain four and a triple all in that same first stitch. Now we're going to just pull those stitches over and we're going to work one triple crochet into the top of the next stitch. Insert under the top two loops and work a triple crochet. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this next front post double crochet. You're going to yarn over twice, bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from front to back, back to front, underneath the post of that stitch, yarn over, pull underneath and around. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post triple. 
So now we're ready to begin our repeat. We're going to work two triple into the next stitch, one triple into the next, and a front post triple around the post of this next front post triple. So let's begin the repeat. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into the top of the next stitch, and work two triple crochet. One, back into that same stitch, work your second triple crochet. And again, you should have two stitches in the top of that stitch. Now we're going to work one triple crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to see you're going to be back over to your front post stitch. So now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of that stitch. Yarn over twice, insert from front to back, back to front underneath the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull your hook underneath and around that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post triple crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into the top of the next stitch, and work two triple crochet. One, yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, and work your second triple crochet. Now we're going to work one triple crochet into the top of the next stitch, So to end the repeat, you're going to yarn over twice. You're going to come over to your front, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch, yarn over, pull underneath and around that stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's work the repeat again. You're going to work two triple crochet into the next stitch. That's one. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, work your second triple crochet. Now we're going to work one triple crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then we're back over to our front post triple. So now we're going to finish the repeat by working a front post triple around this next front post triple. Yarn over twice, insert from front to back, back to front around that stitch. Yarn over, pull your hook underneath and around the stitch. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And that is the end of the repeat. So if you need additional help, just click back on the video. Start where I say this is the start of the repeat. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round five. We're over at the end of round five. You should have a total of 120 stitches around. We work two triple into the next stitch, one triple into the next, and a front post triple around the post of the next front post triple. We repeated that around and we end with the front post triple into that last front post triple around. Now we're going to join in the top of that beginning chain four, count up one, two, three, four, insert into the top of that chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So now we are done with the beach, so I'm just going to fasten off. Again, I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in my ends. It's a good idea to weave in your ends as you go. Now your center might have a little bit of a ruffle in it when you're working. The next round is going to stretch that and make it lay flat. So if you have that little bit of a ruffle, don't let that concern you. So now the next color of brown we're going to be using is the color birch. This is color 115L. So grab your birch and let's begin round six. 
to begin round six, I have my color birch on my hook. And now we're going to go back up to where we fastened off. So here is where we fastened off. You can see that joining chain four. And we're going just up at the top where we fastened off, right into that top chain. Insert your hook. And then slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Our beginning chain four counts as the first triple crochet. Now we're going to work a triple crochet into the top of the next stitch. Insert under the top two loops. Work your triple crochet. Triple crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then we're back over to our front post triple. So now we're going to work a front post triple around the post of this front post triple. Yarn over the hook twice. Bring your hook to the front of your work. Insert from front to back, back to front, underneath the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull back through and underneath the stitch. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops. So now we're ready to begin our repeat. We're going to work a triple crochet in each of the next three stitches and a front post triple around the post of this next front post triple. Let's begin the repeat. Triple crochet into the top of the next stitch. Triple crochet into the top of the next stitch. Triple crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then when you look at your work, you're going to be over at your front post triple. So now we're going to work a front post triple around the post of this front post triple. Yarn over the hook twice, bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from front to back, back to front, underneath the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull your hook underneath and around the stitch. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post triple and that is the end of the repeat. Let's do the repeat again. You're going to triple crochet into the top of the next stitch. Triple crochet into the top of the next stitch. Triple crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then when you look at your work, you're going to be back over to the next front post triple. So now we're going to end the repeat by working a front post triple around the post of this front post triple. Yarn over the hook twice, bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from front to back, back to front under the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull back through and underneath that stitch. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post triple. So go ahead and continue. If you need additional help, just click back on the video where I say this is the start of the repeat. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat and you're going to work one triple crochet in each of the next three stitches and a front post triple around the post of that next front post triple. You're going to repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round six. I'm over at the end of round six. This is what your work should look like. Now, if your work has a big gap or it's gapping and it has wrinkles, then just hand press it down and it should lay flat. So when you look at your work, we worked one triple crochet in each of the three stitches and then a front post triple around the front post triple. 
We worked that around. We ended with our front post triple into the last front post triple. So now we're ready to join. So we're going to count up to the top of that beginning chain four. Count up one, two, three, four. Insert your hook and try to get at least two loops. You're going to yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So now we are done with our birch. So we're just going to fasten off. I chain two. I pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So go ahead and weave in your ends, and then to begin round seven, you want to get your sage green, color number 173A. So grab your sage, and let's begin round seven. So we're going to go back up to the top of our joining stitch right here, that first stitch. We're going to skip those first three stitches and we're going to join our sage in the top of this front post triple. You're going into the top of it and not around it. We're going to slip stitch through the top of that stitch and through the loop on our hook. And this joins our yarn. We're going to begin and we're going to work a three triple cluster shell stitch. So we're doing exactly what we did down in round two by making these clusters, but we're going to make a shell stitch for our leaves. We're going to begin and chain three. One, two, and three. Our beginning chain three counts as our first triple, but we didn't finish the stitch. Now we're going to work a triple two together, leaving the last loop on the hook into the same space. You're going to yarn over twice, insert back into the top of that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You made your first triple, leaving the last loop on your hook. Now we need to do that one more time. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your second triple, leaving the last loop on the hook. The beginning chain three counted as the first triple. So three loops on the hook, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. Our first three triple cluster is made. Now this one has worked differently than the rest because this one we started with at beginning chain three. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and now we're going to work a three triple cluster back into that same stitch. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. We do not finish the stitch, so we made one triple, leaving the last loop on the hook, and we have two loops. We need to do that two more times into that same stitch. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. You made your second triple, leaving the last loop on the hook, and you did not finish the stitch. You have two triples made, and we need to make one more. Yarn over twice, come back to the same stitch, insert into the top of that same stitch, yarn over, and pull through. You now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops only. You made your third triple, leaving the last loop on the hook, and you did not finish the stitch. So when you look at your work, you have your loop on your hook from when we started, and then three triple and three loops because we did not finish each one of those stitches. So you should have a total of four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Your first cluster shell stitch is made. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to skip the next three stitches. You're going to skip the next front post double crochet, and then you're going to skip the next three stitches. We're going to start our repeat 
in the top of the next front post double crochet. So this is the start of the repeat. You're going to yarn over the hook, insert into the top of that front post triple, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You made your first triple of a three triple cluster. You're going to yarn over twice, insert back into the top of that stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You made your second triple crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You're going to yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You made your third triple, leaving the last loop on the hook, and you have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Your three triple cluster is made. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to work a three triple cluster back into that same stitch. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Your first triple of the three triple is made. You're going to yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You made your second triple, leaving the last loop on the hook and we need to do that one more time. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your third triple, leaving the last loop on the hook and you did not finish the stitch. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through all four loops on the hook. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to skip the next seven stitches. Then we're going to start our repeat into this next front post triple. So let's begin the repeat again. Yarn over twice, insert into the top of that front post triple, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. We made our first triple of the three triple cluster. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You made your second triple of the three triple cluster. We need to do that one more time yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have six loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You made three triple crochet, leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook and you have a total of four loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. You're going to chain three. And now we need to make our three triple cluster one more time into that same stitch. You're going to yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You made your first triple of the three triple group. You're going to yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You made your second triple, leaving the last loop on the hook and you have three loops. We need to do that one more time. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have six loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You have four loops on the hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. You're going to chain three and then you're going to skip the next seven stitches. 
you're going to start your repeat into the next front post double crochet. So go ahead and repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven. This is what your work should look like. And if you look real close, you're going to see that you worked a three triple cluster, a chain three, three triple cluster in the top of a front post triple. You skip the next three stitches, the next front post triple, the next three stitches, and then you ended with that three triple shell in the next front post triple. So there should be a front post triple in between each group of three triple shells around your work. And when you get to the end, you should have seven stitches remaining. You ended with a chain three, and you should have a total of 15 shell stitches around. Now we're going to go up and we're going to join in the top of this beginning triple shell cluster. So we're skipping those seven stitches and you're coming over, you're going underneath the top two loops of that first triple cluster, slip stitch through the top of that stitch and through the loop on your hook. So we are done with the sage, so we're going to fasten off. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So now go ahead and weave in your ends. The next color we're going to use is we're going back to the Sienna, color number 118E. So grab your Sienna and let's begin round eight. I have my Sienna brown attached to my hook. So I'm over at the beginning triple shell stitch. So what we're doing for this round is we're going to be working in the round below. We're just going to fold that first shell stitch down and you can fold the entire round to the front of your work. This is our first stitch. You can see where we joined our yarn. We're going to fold that shell stitch down and you want to go into that very first stitch. On the left hand side, you're going to go under the top two loops and join your Sienna with a slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now for this round, we're going to be working double crochets and a front post double crochet. To begin the round, we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. This beginning chain three will count as our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet into the next stitch under the top two loops. Double crochet into the next stitch. And now you're going to see that we're over to our front post triple. So now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the front post triple. So yarn over the hook once. Bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from front to back, back to front. You're going to yarn over, pull back through underneath and around that stitch. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post double crochet. So now when you look at your work, we have three stitches left in between those shells. So we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to skip this next stitch that has the shell stitch in it so we're going to skip this stitch you can see it right here and then we're going to start our repeat in the very first stitch on the left side of the shell stitch. So we're working in a total of seven stitches. So let's begin the repeat. You skip the shell stitch and now you're going to work a double crochet into the first stitch on the left side of that shell stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch and you're going under the top two loops unless otherwise specified double crochet into the next stitch 
and then you're over at your front post triple. So now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this stitch. Yarn over the hook, bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from front to back, back to front, underneath the post of that stitch, yarn over, pull underneath and around, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And then double crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to skip this next shell stitch. So when you look at your work, you're going to have a total of seven stitches three double crochet, a front post double crochet, and three double crochet in between the shell stitches. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it one more time together. You skip that shell stitch, and now we're going to work a double crochet into the first stitch on the left side of that shell stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to be back over to your front post triple. You're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this stitch. Yarn over, bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from front to back, back to front, underneath the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around that stitch. You have three loops, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And double crochet into the top of the next stitch. You're going to skip the next shell stitch and then you're going to start your repeat in the very next stitch. So when you look at your work, just make sure that you have seven stitches, three double crochet, a front post double crochet, and three double crochet in between each shell stitch around. So go ahead and repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round eight. I'm over at the end of round eight. We just used our Sienna Brown and then when you look at your work, you should have three double crochet, a front post double crochet, and three double crochet in between each set of these triple shell stitches. And we work that around. So I worked my last set of seven stitches. So now we're going to join in the top of the beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert your hook into the top chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So we are done with the Sienna Brown, so I'm just going to fasten off. And again, I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So go ahead and weave in your ends for the Sienna Brown. And then the next round, round nine, we're going to switch and use our baby pink, color number 101F. So grab your baby pink and let's begin round nine. Now I have my baby pink attached to my hook and we're getting ready to start round nine. Now this round, you can join in any chain three space of any triple shell. So again, you're going to round seven where we worked our sage shell stitches and we're going to join our baby pink with a slip stitch into the chain three space of the center of a shell, not in between, but in the center of a shell stitch. Insert into that chain three space in the center of that shell, yarn over, pull through that space and pull through the loop on your hook. We're going to begin and we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now this beginning chain three will be the first double crochet of our first popcorn stitch. So we're working popcorn stitches in this round. 
we're going to work four more double crochet into that same chain three space yarn over insert into that chain three space and work four double crochets one two three and four. You're going to pull up a loop, remove your hook. You're going to come back over to your beginning chain three and count up one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that chain and then bring your hook around the back of your work and insert into the loop of the last double crochet of the group. And then I just pinch mine together and then you're going to pull that loop through the first loop. And that is how you make your beginning popcorn stitch. So I'm just going to pull my popcorn stitch over to the side and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to make a popcorn stitch but we're using five double crochet instead of four and a beginning chain three. So yarn over the hook, insert back into that space and work five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull up a loop, remove your hook. You're going to come back to the first double crochet of the five double crochet group. Insert your hook under the top two loops. Take your hook to the back of your work, insert it into that loop, and then I just pinch my stitches and pull that loop through the first loop, through that first stitch. You're going to chain three. And then we're going to make one more popcorn stitch in this space. So shove them over. You're going to yarn over, insert back into that chain three space, and work five double crochet. One. two, three, four, and five. Again, you're going to pull up a loop, come back to that first double crochet, insert your hook under the top two loops, insert your hook into that drop loop of the last stitch made, Pinch your stitches together and pull that loop through the first stitch. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. So when you look at your work, you're going to have three popcorn stitches and two chain three spaces in the center of that shell stitch below, and then you end with a chain three. You're going to skip this next chain three space, and now we're ready to begin our repeat. So our repeat, we're going to be doing the same method. We're going to be working three popcorn stitches with a chain three space in between in the center of the next shell stitch. We're going to chain three and skip the chain three space in between the shell stitches. So let's go ahead and start our repeat. You're going to yarn over. You're going to insert your hook into the next chain three space of the next shell stitch right into the center and work five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull up a loop, remove your hook, come back to the first stitch, insert into the first stitch, insert into that drop loop of the last stitch, tighten up, pinch your stitches together and pull that loop through the first stitch. You're going to chain three. And then just move that popcorn stitch over and make room for the rest. You're going to yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space and work five double crochets. One, two, three, four, 
and five. Pull up a loop, come back to the first stitch of the five stitch group, insert your hook, insert your hook into the loop, tighten that loop up, pinch your stitches and pull that loop through the first stitch. Your popcorn stitch is made. You're going to chain three. You're going to pull that popcorn stitch over and then we're going to make one more popcorn stitch into this space. Yarn over the hook, insert into that chain three space and work five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull up the loop, come over to the first stitch of the five stitch group, insert your hook, insert your hook into the drop loop, tighten that loop up, and then I pinch my stitches and pull that loop through the first stitch. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to skip that next chain three space that's in between the shell stitches. And then we're going to start our repeat into the next shell stitch in the center chain three space. So let me show you one more time how to do the repeat. Yarn over the hook, go to your next shell stitch, insert into the center chain three space, work five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull up a loop, come back to your first stitch, insert into that stitch, insert into the loop, tighten up your loop, pinch and pull that loop through the first stitch. Your popcorn stitch is made. Chain three, pull that popcorn stitch over, yarn over, insert back into that same space, work five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull up a loop, come back to your first stitch of the five double crochet group, insert into your drop loop, tighten it up, pinch your stitches together and pull that loop through the first stitch. You're going to chain three. Your popcorn stitch is made. You're going to pull that over to the side and we need to make one more popcorn stitch into this chain three space. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same space and work five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull up a loop, come back to the very first stitch, insert your hook under the top two loops of the first stitch, insert your hook into the drop loop, tighten it up, pinch those stitches together and pull that loop through the first stitch. You're going to chain three. You're going to skip the next chain three space that's in between the shell stitches and you're going to start your repeat into the next shell stitch in the center chain three space. So if you need help, just click back on the video, repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round nine. I'm over at the end of round nine. This is what your work should look like, and your work may want to fold into the center like this. That's normal as well, if it's going into the center. Just use your hands and just pull it back out. Now when you look at your work, you're going to have a popcorn stitch, a chain three, popcorn stitch, chain three, and a popcorn stitch in the center of each shell stitch around, and then you're going to have a chain three space in between those popcorn stitches of each shell. So we're over at the end. I just worked my last repeat. I'm ending with the chain three. 
and we're going to come over and we're going to join in the top of the first popcorn stitch. So here is our popcorn stitch and I'm going right down through the center of the popcorn stitch and then I'm going to yarn over, pull back through that stitch and pull through the loop on my hook. And that is how you join your round. So now I am done with the baby pink, so I'm going to fasten off. Again, I chain two, one, two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So go ahead and weave in your ends, and then the next color we're going to be using is we're going back to the honey brown. This is color one, three, four, you, honey. So grab your honey brown and let's begin round 10. So now we're ready to begin round 10. So I have my honey, my honey brown attached to my hook and we're going to work behind these two rounds right here. We're going to fold them over and we're going to be working in round eight, in this round where you have the Sienna Brown. So let me zoom up. So what we're doing is we're folding our flowers and our leaves to the front, and we're going to be working in this round here where the Sienna Brown is. And this should be round eight right here. So we're working behinds round seven and nine. And what's confusing a little bit about this pattern is because we're working behind and then we're working up. So as long as you're going in the correct space where I'm showing you, you'll be fine. So again, we're working behind round seven and nine and we're going to return to round eight and we want to join our honey brown in the first double crochet of any seven double crochet group. So when you look at your work, you're going to have this seven double crochet group and then a space, this seven double crochet group and a space and so on around. So we're just going to join in the first stitch of any seven stitch group. So insert your hook into the top of that first stitch of the seven stitch group and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. We're going to begin with a chain three. One, two, and three. Our beginning chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to work two double crochet into the next stitch. one, and two. Now we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch, and now for a little bit of a tricky part, we're going to work two front post triple around this next front post double crochet, but we're going to be working over the chain three space. So we're going to insert our hook over top the chain three space of the sage chain three space of round seven, and then we're going to insert underneath and around that stitch to do our stitch. So it's a little tricky. You have to keep this pink round out of the way when you're doing your stitch. So let me show you how we're going to do those two front post triple. You're going to yarn over the hook twice. You're going to bring your hook up and over the sage chain three space. So you're going between the pink and the green chain three space. And then you're going to come down, find your front post stitch, make sure you follow it up, find the correct stitch, insert from front to back, back to front around that stitch, and then just pull your work up so you're behind that pink. And then you're going to make your front post triple. Yarn over, pull underneath and around that stitch. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we need to do that again. You're going to yarn over twice. You're going to bring your hook underneath the pink chain three space over top of the green. And you're just going to come over and insert 
from front to back, back to front, around that stitch, and then move that pink up to the front so it's out of your way. Go under that stitch, yarn over, pull back through that stitch. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. Now that's the trickiest part of this pattern. So you'll see you have your two front post double crochets around that stitch. Now we're going to go back to the round with the brown yarn. We're going to go into the next stitch and work one double crochet. And we're just going into the top of that stitch. Into the next stitch, we're going to work two double crochets. One and two. And then into the next stitch, you're going to work one double crochet. And that is the end of our first section. We just worked across those seven stitches. And when you look at your work, you should have you should have a total of 10 stitches across. One is your starting chain three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then you're going to notice there's going to be a space and then you have seven stitches and a space. So this is where we're going to start our repeat and we're going to be working over this one section. And this is where you're going to click back on the video if you need help to do this round. We're going to begin the repeat and work one double crochet into the next stitch, two double crochet into the next stitch, one, and two. One double crochet into the next stitch, and then we're back over to our front post double crochet. So we're going to work two front post double crochet into this next front post stitch, but we're going over top of this chain three space. So you're going to yarn over twice. You're going to bring your hook to the front of the work. You're going to go over top of that chain three space find your front post stitch just go down here and follow it up so you have the correct stitch insert from front to back back to front and then bring your hook up through the center of the pink and green chain three space and then you're just going to work your front post stitch yarn over pull underneath and around you have four loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops and we're going to do that one more time yarn over twice bring your hook to the front of your work you're going to insert from front to back back to front under the post of that stitch and your stitch is already holding that green down and then you're just going to yarn over pull underneath and around that stitch you have four loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So now you just wanna fold that green and pink round forward because we're working in the brown round. So we just worked in this stitch, so now we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. One, and two and then one double crochet into the next stitch and that is the end of the repeat and then you'll see a small space here and that is where you start your next repeat so i'll show you one more time how to do the repeat again if you need help just click back on the video where i say this is the start of the repeat work until i say this is the end of the repeat and you're going to repeat that around we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch, two double crochet into the next stitch, one, and two. One double crochet into the next stitch, 
So now we're over at our front post stitch. So you're going to yarn over twice, bring your hook up to the front of your work, and then you're going to go through the pink and the green. You're going over top of the green sage chain three space and then go underneath that space. And then you're going to find your front post stitch, insert from front to back, back to front. You're going to yarn over and pull underneath and around that stitch and around that chain three space. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. You're going to yarn over twice, bring your hook back up. You already have the sage chain three space holding that stitch. You're going to bring your hook up. You're going to make sure that you come past the chain three space, but make sure the pink is out of the way. You're going to insert from front to back, back to front, around that same front post stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we're going to go back to our brown round. Make sure you get the sage and the pink out of the way. You already worked in this stitch, so now we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. One. And two. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see that we have a space here and then you have your next seven stitches. So go ahead and if you need help, click back on the video. Start where I say this is the start of the repeat in the first stitch of the seven stitch group. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat and you're going to be over here at the end of that seven stitch group where your space is. And then when you fold this up, you can see how that's going to look. So go ahead and repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round 10. I'm over at the end of round 10. Now we're working behind these petals. We're working this round here. And when you get to the end, you're ending with a double crochet into that last stitch. And then we're back over to our beginning chain three. You should have a total of 150 stitches around. So now we're going to join our round with the slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up to the top of the beginning chain three. One, two, three. Insert into the top of that chain. Yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So now we're going to continue using the honey color so now with this pattern, we're going to be working across 10 stitches for each repeat. We're going to start the repeat in the first double crochet before the two front post stitches. And then we're going to work across 10 stitches. And then you will end right before the first stitch in front of those two front post triples. So right here is where you start the repeat. Then we work across 10 stitches. And then we're back over here, and then you'll have one stitch before the two front post stitches for that repeat. So let's begin round 11. Now for round 11, we want to start our repeat into this stitch here on the right hand side of the two front post triples. So we need to slip stitch across to that stitch. You're going to insert into the next stitch work a slip stitch and work that stitch loosely. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the next stitch. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. This beginning chain three counts as our first double crochet. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this stitch, but we want to pull round nine, our flowers, you want to pull this round up to your work, and you're going to yarn over the hook, 
bring your hook to the front of your work and go over top of that chain three space and then you want to come down and go from front to back back to front around the post of that first front post triple and then work a front post double crochet yarn over pull underneath and around that stitch you have three loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops so we're just going to do that again. You're going to yarn over. You're going to come to the front of your work going over top of that chain three space, the pink chain three space. Insert from front to back, back to front around that front post triple and then work your front post double crochet. So now when you look at your work, you want to skip the two stitches that we just worked the front post doubles in. You're going to see the top of those two stitches. We're going to skip them and we're going to work a double crochet into that next stitch on round 10. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch and work one double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches, but we're going to bring our hook up over and through this chain three space of round nine, this pink chain three space. You're going to yarn over the hook, bring your hook to the front of your work, go over top of the chain three space, and then insert from front to back through that chain three space, and then in through the top of that next stitch, work your double crochet. Yarn over the hook, bring your hook to the front of your work. You're going to go over top of that pink chain three space, the same chain three space, go underneath the chain three space front to back, and then insert into the very next stitch and work your double crochet. Now we're going to work behind these petals and we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch on round 10. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches, but we're going over top and through the next chain three space. Yarn over the hook, bring your hook to the front of your work, go over top of the chain three space and then underneath from front to back. Insert into the next stitch of round 10 and work your double crochet. Yarn over the hook, bring your hook to the front of your work, you're going over top that same chain three space, insert from front to back underneath the chain three space and then into the top of the next stitch on round 10. Work your double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet into the next stitch of round 10. And then when you look at your work, we're going to be back over to one stitch on the right side of the two front post triples. So when you count your stitches, your chain three will be one stitch and then you have two front post double crochets for three stitches, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now we're going to do the repeat. It's going to be the same repeat, only we're starting with a double crochet instead of a chain three. So let's go ahead and do the repeat again. So this is the start of the repeat, and again, it's a 10 stitch repeat, and we're starting in the first stitch on the right side of the two front post triples. So let's begin the repeat. We're going to double crochet into the top of the next stitch on round 10. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the next two front post triples and we're going to be working over top of the next chain three space and then underneath the post of each one of those stitches. So yarn over, bring your hook to the front of your work, you're going over top of the chain three space and then you're coming over to your first front post triple, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch, yarn over, pull underneath and around, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two loops. 
We're going to do that again. You're going to yarn over, bring your hook to the front of the work. You're going over top that pink chain three space. Bring your hook over to your front post triple. Insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we're going to go behind the petals, behind that pink round, and we're going to double crochet into the next stitch of round 10, and you're skipping the two stitches, the top of those two stitches where we work the front post double crochet. So you're going into that next stitch. Yarn over, insert into that stitch, work your double crochet. Now we're going to push our petals against round 10 and we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches by going over top the chain three space through the next chain three space and in through those stitches. Yarn over the hook, bring your hook to the front of your work, insert over top and underneath that next chain three space and then in the top of the next double crochet on round 10 work your double crochet. Yarn over, bring your hook to the front of your work. You're going over top the same chain three space, insert underneath that chain three space, and then insert into the top of the next double crochet of round 10. Work your double crochet. Now we're going to push that petal forward and we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch on round 10. Now we're going to push our petals back against our work. We're going to yarn over, bring your hook to the front of your work, go over top of the next chain three space, insert your hook underneath the chain three space, and then come over to that next stitch of round 10 and work a double crochet. Yarn over, bring your hook to the front of your work, Again, you're going over top and underneath that same chain three space, and then you're going into the next stitch of round 10 and work a double crochet. You're going to pull your petal forward, and then you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see that we're back over and we have one stitch on the right hand side before the two front post triples. And this is where you start your next repeat. So let me show you one more time. Now, if for some reason you're not ending at one stitch before the two front post triples, then you must have went into the wrong stitch on the back. So just make sure that if you need to use stitch markers and you're going to have 10 stitches in each repeat. So let's go ahead and do the repeat again. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch. We're going to front post double crochet around each of the next two front post triples by going over top and underneath and around the post of that front post triple. Yarn over the hook, bring your hook to the front of your work. You're going over top of the chain three space and then down to the front post triple. You're going to insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Let's do it again. You're going to yarn over the hook, come over top of that pink chain three space and then come down to your next front post triple. Insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to pull the pink petals forward and you're going to skip the two stitches behind the two front post double crochets you just made and double crochet into the top of that next stitch on round 10. Push your petals back up against your work. You're going to yarn over, bring your hook to the front of your work, go over top the next chain three space, insert underneath the chain three space, and then into the top of that next stitch on round 10 and work a double crochet.
yarn over the hook, bring your hook to the front of your work, you're going over top and underneath that same chain three space and then into the top of the next stitch on round 10, work your double crochet. Pull those pink petals forward and you're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch of round 10. Push your petals forward, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook to the front of your work, go over top of the next chain 3 space, insert underneath the chain 3 space, and then insert into the top of the next stitch on round 10 and work a double crochet. Yarn over, bring your hook back up to the front of your work, go over top the same chain 3 space, insert your hook underneath the chain 3 space and into the top of the next stitch on round 10 and work your double crochet. Now we're going to push our petals forward, those pink petals, and you're going to double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. We worked a total of 10 stitches across and you're back over to that one stitch before the two front post triples. So that is the end of the repeat. So if you need additional help, just click back on the video. Repeat where I say this is the start of the repeat. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round 11. So I'm over at the end of round 11. Now the last three stitches might have been a little tighter to get into because we have those slip stitches in those three stitches. When you worked your last repeat, your double crochet should be right in the last stitch and then you have your beginning chain three. We're going to join our round. We're going to count up to the top of the beginning chain three. One, two, three. Insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. You're going to fasten off your work. I always chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So round 11 is finished. This is what your work should look like and you should have the same stitch count of 150 stitches. And you can see how round 11, it just pulled these stitches up and it joined our petals to our work. So now it's nice and secure. So I'm going to stop the video here. This was part one. I'll be back with part two and we'll continue on our afghan. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post part two. And we'll continue crocheting along together and make this gorgeous afghan. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting everyone.